What's up y'all, in today's video we're going to be hopping into IK Multimedia's Moto Drummer. Producing great sounding drums is one of the hardest parts to master when it comes to producing. That's why I'm always interested in hearing the latest and greatest drum programs that are out there. Let's check this out. Right, so this is what it looks like when you get it pulled up. Basic studio kit. Pretty nice sound and cymbals. Let's go ahead and lay in a groove here that way we can that way we can hear the different drum samples. Alright, very terrible groove, but we can at least hear the samples with this. All right, so now let's just cycle through some of these sounds here. So that's your studio kit. Here's the jazzy kit. Brock custom kit. Grungy kit. DJ Gentleman, definitely more of a, a metal type kit, Black Oyster kit, looks like a, a vintage Ludwig, Bubinga kit is the name of this one. Sounds pretty cool. Here's the Plexi. So that's a little bit too much reverb. We can go into the mixer here and adjust all the parameters. You see they have sins and they also have a spot here to add like a little bit of compression on individual drums, which is pretty cool. I love IK Multimedia's plugins and compression. So no doubt that these right here are gonna sound really good. Couple more kits here. We got the extreme. And the reference kit here. Well, what's cool about this is you can come in here and customize a kit. So, you know, you can blend the different snares. So if I wanted, you know, the DJ Gentleman snare here, then I wanted the kick to be something different. Even just this floor tom right here. Let's see if we can change out the hats. Yep, we got a couple different choices of hats. So this shows you how you can easily come in here and have a lot of different choices. Those hats sound really good there. And another cool thing, if you, you don't wanna to listen to this groove that I did, we can go in here and use some of the grooves that they have, which is pretty cool. What I would do if I was using something like this, I would drag this on the grid, then I would come in here and edit more kicks. See, I would just take this and use this as a starting point. We could delete the kicks that are here. Now I can add my own. So check this out. So this way, let me get the intro. This way we can come in here and whenever we lay our own kicks, it can match the groove of our song, but the majority of the groove is there with all the shakers and hi-hats and everything else. We don't have to program all that stuff in.
Now I got a pretty customized groove, which is nice because this started from, you know, one of the templates in Motodrum or one of the pre grooves that they had here in the grooves folder. I just took that, I deleted the kicks, put in my own kicks, and this is what it sounds like. And just for a little bit of bonus points here, one of my favorite plugins to do, um, and it's another IK Multimedia plugin actually, so let's go ahead and do it. This Saturation X here sounds great on drums. So literally you just turn it on. It's kind of like a tape emulation plugin. You can increase the gain here. This is what it's doing. Here's it off. Here's it on. Anyways, that tape Saturation X sounds great with the Moto drums. Next thing you have here is these different room reverbs, which is pretty cool um, because we can change the environment that your drums are in. So this garage is a little bit more bigger of a room. This large studio, cathedral. You can hear how big and wide that cathedral is. I like that club setting. That's probably what I would use. And the cool thing about this and how I would probably use this plugin, I'll just show you guys this, as I would just, I would copy this, copy this part down here so find your favorite samples that you like and blend them with this Moto Drummer. And you know, some people would ask like, why would you go to other sample libraries if you're, you know, why would I buy Moto Drummer if I needed other sample libraries? Well, you don't have to blend it this way. This is just the way that I prefer to work. And I, I like to have something like Moto Drummer as like my main drums and then go ahead and replace the kick. So this is what Moto Drummer sounds like whenever I layer an extra kick sample in there. And all I did was copy and paste the MIDI down and just with this impact, I drug in my own kick sample. This is what it sounds like. And that's gonna help out our drums here. Check this out. Here's without it. Here's with it. And the, key, the cool thing about layering out your kick samples like this is you can blend the kits now. Now I can go back to Moto Drummer and change up the kit. And then see which samples blend really well with this kit. So to really get some options for some tones, I can, you know, copy and paste my snare and my kick drum out, trigger a sample through impact, and then change up the kits within Moto Drummer to see which makes a better blend with those samples. Here's without the kick. Here's with it. So you can see how adding these extra samples would really help your drum, drum tones out. And if you're using if you're using Studio One Five, the cool thing about here is I can go up here to Moto Drummer, and then I can select all my outputs here. And as I select an output, this allows me to go to Moto Drummer and give it its own output. So we don't have to use just the stereo out. Of course, every drum VST has this option, but Moto Drummer makes it really easy. I can go to my mixer, and then below here you can see where all these are triggered out through. But if I go to Bus. Or if I go to DAW, I can do three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, so on and so on. Now look what we have going on here. So now we have a separated kick and our separated snare. And this is a good way to separate all of your sounds out if you wanted to mix with individual sounds, or if I wanted to go and replace the snare with slight trigger, I could do that on just that specific snare bus. 
Uh, and that's an easy way, and that's how Studio One 5 makes it super easy, just by going in your mixer, coming over here under Moto Drummer, selecting the outputs that you want to use. But for right now, we really dove into to more technical things than I wanted to on this video. The point of this video is just showing you guys the sounds of Moto Drummer, but also showing you guys how you can trigger other samples with a program like Moto Drummer and really get the tones to cut through a mix. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see a video like this or something different, please leave me a comment below. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you next time. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out to the end of the video. You should sign up for our mailing list if you want more exclusive content just like this. I'll leave a link in the description and check out our website, musiccityplaybook.com. I appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you guys in the next video.